as we all know, no matter how beloved Vegeta is in the Dragon Ball fandom, he doesn't really get much shine and we all know this. So in today's video, we are going to honor the Prince of all Saiyans. We are going to recap the happiest day of Vegeta's life during Dragon Ball Z. First things first, what would make a character like Vegeta happy? As Vegeta, we all know, is a very disciplined but also arrogant person. Therefore, there aren't many things that truly make him overtly happy. But in this moment, we're going to break down all the factors that contribute to this being Vegeta's happiest moment ever. So, factor number one, Vegeta arrives on the battlefield to see Goku getting his ass beat at this point by Android 18. This is an absolutely petty delight for Vegeta as he still sees Goku as an enemy rather than a rival at this point. As the last time they met, Goku was far superior to him, so Vegeta's been bossing his ass, training to see the day that he can finally tower above Goku as the victor and gain his Saiyan pride back as the strongest of all Saiyans. So in this moment, he's feeling pretty smug right about now to know that he's the one seeing Goku get beat. So seeing Goku be humbled and basically getting beaten is definitely something that would put a smile to Vegeta's face even if he's not the one to do it yet. Number two, the fact that he's the one that actually ends up saving Goku is just the extra cherry on top for Vegeta because you have to think this is purely an ego boost for Vegeta and the ultimate form of disrespect because this is not a heroic act on the part of Vegeta as we learn from Vegeta at many points during the series he would rather be defeated and killed than saved by another person especially our boy Kakarot. So for him to save Goku was more a slap of disrespect and also a selfish reason simply because he wanted to be the one to actually enact his revenge against Goku, so he needed him alive. So this is definitely a W in Vegeta's head, not anything to do with being a hero and saving Goku's life. Moving on to the third reason why this is the happiest day for Vegeta is simply because he can finally stunt and show off how powerful he is to everyone. As we all know, our boy Vegeta loves to monologue and give speeches, and some of them are damn fire, I gotta say. But in this moment, this is his time to be the center stage character he always wanted to be. And that in combination with him finally being able to turn Super Saiyan is the icing on the cake. As he stands there in front of the androids, while all the Z Fighters can do is look on as Vegeta currently is the strongest character of them all. So for him, this was the extra moment too. Point number four, Vegeta wipes the floor with Android 19 easily. From battle power to intelligence, he just violates him to the point that he makes a robot run away in fear for his life. Like this guy is an android 100%, I don't think he was ever a human. So how does this robot go from Jarvis to Ultron so quick, developing so many emotions? You can see the fear in the robot's face, which is crazy. And then after this, he then proceeds to make the Dr. Jiro android get shook and run off too. So in all, this was a great day for Vegeta. Well, it was up until... 